Hi, Scorpio. Hi. How are you doing today, Scorpio? Okay, Spirit wanted me to get up and just give it to you raw. What is coming towards you, giving it to you raw. Okay? And Scorpio, like I always say, if you're feeling alone right now, Scorpio, you are not, okay? You are not, okay? Let's get into your reading, okay? Ooh, what is that? We have the Tower card, Scorpio. Ooh, if I can get it. Yeah. I want to take it. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, Scorpio. Mm, Scorpio, my beautiful Scorpio. Let me get another one. <sighs> so, Scorpio, it lets me know that something just happened and dev devastated you. I feel like somebody you was dealing with was lying to you. And it literally, it just broke your heart. When you found out what this person was doing, it just broke your heart into hell. You literally feel like you're trapped in your head now. You, you're you're trying to figure out why this person did to you. Yeah, yeah. And you, you're trying to figure out this is why they was moving so slow to commit to me. Yeah, you're fucking right, Scorpio. You're right. Yeah. And this, you're very, you're very emotional about this person. Very. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like you was very patient with this person. But also, Scorpio, this person was very fucking karmic. Let's just keep it real. This person was very fucking karmic. This person was in your life to teach you something and move the fuck on. You wasn't supposed to try to create a happy family. You wasn't. But this was this was your, thank you, Spirit said this was your plan. Spirit said this was your plan. Yeah. Yeah, see, this person was juggling. I feel like you wanted to, you wanted this person to step into, like, take control. Like, be be the boss of the relationship. Really step into their power. Yeah, but they just couldn't do that. This person was always confused. Always juggling the idea. Could never make up their mind about you. And it kind of just fucking made you sick at this point. And not only sick, it confused you, Scorpio. It did. Keep it real. It's It confused you. Also, you're up in your head. You're not sleeping. You are not sleeping. You're having anxiety at night. And Scorpio, quite frankly, I feel like while you're having anxiety, this person is out having fun. I just have to give it to you raw as fuck. While you're having anxiety... This person is out having fun as fuck. And it's like, you're looking at this person crazy as fuck. Like, do you not know? Do you not feel anything? Are you fucking cold hearted? Do you not see what you're done to me? Do you not see why I'm acting this way? Do you not see why this shit is not fair towards me? And this person is just sleeping around. When I tell you sleeping around with a lot of people, while you're waiting for this person to come back in, because you are fucking waiting, this person is in a third party, like I said, out having fun. Yeah, yeah. This person is definitely fucking out having fun. Yeah, I just heard Spears say doing them. Oof. It's too raw, Spirit. <laughs> yeah. So you want to be successful with this person, just period. But this person is cold as fuck. And I feel like they did kind of gave you the cold shoulder but it's so crazy because you wish you pray for this person you pray for this person scorpio oh my god scorpio this is sad it's like you pray for this person like this person is your wish fulfillment it's like you pray for them like you want this to work so bad you want things to turn around so bad and I feel the energy of you want to call judgment upon this person. You really want to call their ass out and to like call their ass out for real. But it's like a part of you is scared because you, you don't want things to just complete completely over. Like done. Like you're scared to speak up for yourself because this is this is someone you wished and hoped and prayed for. But this person is being selfish. This person know you want this cup of love and they're not giving it to you on purpose. Look at this person. They're not fucking giving it to you on purpose. They know how bad you want it. They know it. They they can feel it. Thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah. See, this person know you want longevity with them. And also, I feel like this person is already in the uh, committed relationship that they have been in for a long time. Yeah. And you don't know that this is what the fuck come through, Spirit. Yeah. And this shit is going to end. Scorpio, I know you don't want to hear that. Like, Nisha, no, I don't want to hear that shit. Shuffle the fucking cards again. No, these cards are not telling the tale, sweetie. You know what is going on. You know what you're feeling. You know what you're going through. 
I cannot make this shit up. This is scraped from God, scraped from my angels, scraped from spirit. I, I have no control of the fucking message. But I'm going to give it to your ass wrong. This shit is about to end. And I feel like they betrayed your ass ten fucking times. It is time. What the fuck do you want them to do, Scorpio? I feel like they can't even betray your ass no worse than what the fuck they already done. I'm just be honest. They can't do it. Yeah, again with this third party shit. With this betrayal. Again, thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah, and this person have nothing to offer you very fucking little. Nothing. But let's see. Let's see what it, what is uh, what is coming towards Scorpio from this person alone. Because, Scorpio, I see that you pray for this person. And I want to I wanna try to see what you see in this fucking person. Because, quite frankly, Scorpio, I don't see shit. I'm going to just be honest with you. I just see a player. I see someone who is playing with someone love for them. I'm going to be honest. I see someone who is playing with someone love. They're playing with you. They're confusing you on purpose. Thank you so much, Spirit. They're confusing you on purpose. Yeah, they're keeping secrets from you on purpose. And I feel like that's that long-term relationship commitment that they've been in. If it's not a marriage, it's definitely like a long-term commitment that they've been in for like years. Yeah, that they, they even got money invested in it. Yeah, so they're not walking away from it. Goddamn, spirit. But let, let's see. Scorpio, yeah. Yeah. See, this person is very fucking cold towards you. It's like you're so loving and they're so fucking cold. And it and it makes you be at a standstill. It makes you almost refuse to pick whether to walk away or to stay. Yeah. Because you love them. The only thing is making you stay, Scorpio, let's just keep it 100. Because you love them so much. You love them no matter what. No matter if you break my heart into a million pieces, no matter if you cheat on me, no matter if you have lied to me the entire time that we have been in this fucking relationship, no matter how many time, how many times you sleep around and come back and I, I risk of getting whatever the fuck you out there doing and getting, okay? And you know I have integrity for myself. This person know you have integrity for yourself. They don't care. Yeah. See, at one point in time, this person was very, very passionate about you. Very fiery about you. Yeah. And and that what made you, I feel like you kind of, Scorpio, you kind of clung on to that. You know what I'm saying? When they did, when they were so amped up and passionate about you, that kind of made you love this person unconditional. I feel like, Scorpio, you was in a very low place when this person came into your life. You was very low. I feel like you would have latched on to anything. And you kind of latched on to this person like fucking ten times harder than what you uh, originally would do. You kind of fucking, ugh. And you won't let go. Like, no, Nisha, I love them. I love them. Ugh. No, I got I to gotta be patient with them. I got to be patient with this one. No, no, no. You don't. This person is very manipulative, like I just said, before this card even came out. This person confused you a lot. This person confused you, and then they leave you out in the cold. And Spirit just say you are left out in the cold right now as I'm doing this reading. Yeah. And it's so crazy because this person is fucking playing you, Scorpio, and you feel like you missed out on the opportunity with them. I got a fucking issue with that, Scorpio. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you uh, are this this must be your ass sitting here and you don't see your worth. Your worth is right here in your face. You is from God. You is of God. You is a earth angel. You are beautiful. Your soul is beautiful. You deserve nothing but the best and nothing less than that shit. Period. What is wrong with you, Scorpio? I feel like you have been through a lot and it's just making your fucking values of love and people go the fuck down. Always down to a fucking zero at this point. A fucking zilch. Nothing. Just give me false hope. And I will cling on to that to the end of fucking times. No. You the one feel like you missed out on opportunity with them even though they asked the one cheated, lied. Manipulating you, still manipulating you. 
While you guys are not even together, this person is manipulating you into thinking it was your fault, the one who caused this shit. The fuck? And every time this person hurts you, they come back and give you the smallest fucking offer ever known to men, women, whoever. Story this is. Yeah, so spirit is, spirit is urging you to walk the fuck away. It is time. If you've been looking for a sign, you. You. If you've been looking for a sign, this is your sign. This is it. No longer hang on to shit that does not fucking serve your greater good. It just does not. We understand, Scorpio, you're willing to move past all their stubbornness. You're willing to really have a conversation with this person, sit down and rebuild because you feel like you invested so much in this person. But no, this person is literally in a battle with your ass. They're not in a relationship with your ass. Yeah, end this shit. End this shit so spirit can bring you new love in. If not, if you keep going, you're, you're going to continue to be pl getting played. And you're going to continue to pray for change. And you're not going to get it. You're only going to get a heartbreak. I told spirit to bring me the rawest truth. You're only going to get a heartbreak. I love you so much, Scorpio, and I hope this resonated with you. And if it didn't, come back here. Come back here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, Scorpio, I go live. So have on your post notifications. Hit that bell and hit all. Have on your post notifications when I go live. I do. I pull from six different decks for $25, a deal of a lifetime. You cannot find this shit nowhere. You did not click on this by accident. You did it. Know that you was led here. So hey. Bye Scorpio.